hello guys this is interview prep hello what this side today we are going to discuss the lead code problem longest consecutive sequence so the problem description is given as given an unsorted array of integers first thing to note here that array is unsorted and we have to find the length of longest consecutive elements sequence okay and one more thing is given here your algorithm should run in order of n complexity actually so we know that we can easily do it in n square n square or n log n so first we will discuss the order of n log n solution so in n log n solution what we do we first sort this array and then starting from each element we check the longest array starting at this index and one more thing we can incorporate here like from for for checking each element we would also check if the current element is the part of some previous sequence if it is then we don't need to be considered the element under consideration because it has to been included into some previous sequence actually so in this way we can do that but here we have to sort the array so the total time complexity would be n log n um, the question is how we do it in order of n complexity actually so what we can do like we can keep this input nums into a hash set okay and and then apply the same approach on that hash actually so in that in that case we don't have to sort the array so we can do that so let's start coding order of n approach so we will start taking a set can add all the elements into the set now we can iterate over this has set now here comes the main order of n thing so for considering that uh, we are going to check the sequence that is to be started at this current element we have to check that if it is the part of some previous sequence or not if it is the part of some previous sequence then we don't need to check it because it might have been included in some sequence so we will check if our set set contains x minus 1 then we simply don't try to check it otherwise what we will do like we will take int current equal to 1 and current equal to x and int strike equal to 1 so while set dot contains current plus one what we will do current plus plus streak plus plus when this loop breaks we will update our answer and say equal to math dot max answer my streak then we finally return the answer now we try to run it so yes it is running fine 
now we'll try to submit it we'll see if it passes all the test cases yes it passes all the test cases so hope you like this video please comment subscribe and like and please subscribe this video for more premium subscription questions i will provide them very soon and do comment if you like some particular question to be uploaded thanks for watching